hello guys welcome back to the channel so first of all just log in with your credentials and uh, first of all uh, in the first task in the setup and requirements we have to just uh, make one thing like uh, we have to first of all we have to disable the data flow api then again enable it so just agree the terms and conditions and uh, search for api in the search bar open this thing in new tab now just copy this data flow api go to library paste over here and click on this first option click on manage now click on disable and click on disable now just wait for a few seconds so now it's disable and now again click on enable so we are done with this task now we have to create one instance so just copy this instance name and in the search bar search for big table open this thing in new tab click on create instance paste the in instance name over here now click on continue now I click on ssd now for the region type us dash east one south california choose that and us east one c now simple simply click on create it will take few seconds meanwhile just scroll down a little bit and copy this table id called user session copy that then just wait for few seconds and it will be done so it's done now now click on this instance id go to tables click on create table paste the name over here at the table id now just scroll down copy this interaction click on this add column family paste over here click on done then simply click on copy this sales click on this add column paste over here click on done now simply click on create so we have done with this task also now we have to create one bucket so just copy this project id search for bucket open this thing new tab create bucket paste the project id over here continue 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 uncheck enforce public access and choose fine grains continue and create so we are done with this task now we have to create one data flow so, so just copy the data flow job name search for data flow choose this jobs click on create job template paste the name over here called import user session now copy this uh, data flow template in the region must be us east one south california in the template paste that thing and now just wait for a few seconds and it will be done meanwhile just copy your project id and your output must be look like this paste the project id here in the instance id copy this paste over here table id copy this paste over here then path copy this paste over here and just for the temporary location click on this browse option then choose your bucket then simply click on select and now just give one forward slash and temp temp file now simply click on run now we have to wait at least three to four minutes before moving on the task number four and task number five but you can do one thing just go to a dashboard and activate your cloud shell So just click on continue now just if you just scroll down a little bit you can just done the task number four so just wait for a few seconds click copy this command and paste over here then copy the second command paste over here then copy this third command and paste so you will get the project id instance name now just copy this command 
paste and click on authorize and you have done with the task number four and before uh, continuing on task number five we have to wait until we get the success message over here it will take around five to six minutes so kindly wait for that and meanwhile you can check the score for the remaining task so if you just check the score for this task we got a score for task number one we got a score task number two got a score and this is the last task because it's still in continue so just wait for that it will take around four to five minutes so just wait guys So now you can see the output is succeed and it took around 2 minutes and 57 seconds. It sometimes takes some time but yeah for me it take 2 minutes and 57 seconds. So if I just check the score for task number 3. So I got a score. Now this is the last task of we just need to delete all the things we have created. So just go to your big table then in the table sections click on create oh so first of all just create the instance no uh, first of all we have to create the table so click on that table and then click on delete table and then in the confirm box copy this user session and paste over here as done so table is delete now we have to create delete the instance also so just click on overview and from here click on delete instance in the confirmation box copy it and paste over here so now it's done now if you just check the score for last task you got a score if we just uh, directly delete that uh, instance i think you won't get a score for uh, last task so yeah first of all we have to create or delete that table and after that we have to delete the instance so i hope you guys like the video please let me know if you have any doubt thanks for watching have a good day